there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Today is day 23 and we are working with this sketch from Par Victor. And uh, this is a really cool sketch. It's got some mixed media on it. It's got that big circular element and some stars, but I kind of took it in a little different direction. Um, I started out with the mixed media and I'm just using my Distress Oxides in Twisted Citron, uh, Squeezed Lemonade, and ooh, that other green one is called hmm, in cracked pistachio. Sorry about that. I had to go and look that up. Um, and then I do have the straw, scattered straw out, but I don't use the scattered straw. I end up just using those three. And the twi twisted citron has a lot more yellow in it than I thought it would. So um, I don't even use a whole lot of the squeezed lemonade but uh, I do use a tiny bit of it. So I like the way this looks. It's coming together pretty good. I do have two photos that I'm using. One is of five kids sitting on a couch eating ice cream, and the other is of a really big bowl of ice cream, but the bowl is like one of those paper bowls, and the um, design on it is this kind of green and yellow so that's where I picked up the colors from and I could have picked up colors from their outfits and stuff but I wanted the focus to be more on the ice cream than on the kids um, it is kind of funny looking at their faces if you really look at their faces but um, it's uh, it's it's a funny story so I'll tell you about that in a second here but um, so we're starting with those two doilies and a lot <laughs> I don't use doilies a ton. For some reason, they make me think of food, like placemats or something like that, um, or really, really feminine. So I'm using it today because I have food in this photo, um, not because it's a super feminine uh, layout, but it does kind of go in a feminine way because I end up adding flowers at the end, but that's okay. We'll get there. Um, and then I decided I wanted the whole background uh, matted, which is something I, I do all the time, and I say this all the time. Um, white backgrounds, I always feel like they need to have some sort of edge around the outside, whether it's stitching or inking or um, matting. And today I went with this green paper, and this green has a lot of blue undertones, which really matched that cracked pistachio color um, really well. So that's why I chose that paper. I didn't go with black, which is my go-to, or navy blue. I ended up with this green, and I really like how it looks. It, it just really brings out that that green and the cracked pistachio, and that really kind of solidified which thickers I would use. So I'm looking at my thickers right there, and I go for the green that has more of the blue undertones rather than the green that has the yellow undertones, even though I have um, a lot of yellow in that that uh, mixed media background. So also, um, I'm just doing the mixed media on white paper. It's white cardstock. It's not anything fancy. Um, there is no gesso on it. It's just the packaging technique on plain old white cardstock. And it keeps it really flat because I put it on that piece of foam board and it was taped down all the way around. So um, then I decided to pull in those other gr more green thickers down at the bottom to make up the other word adventures and I like how they both both words are like the same length even though they have different fonts and different letters and different number of letters in them they end up being the same length so that kind of just solidified what my title was going to be and I like how that's looking and then I cut out a bunch of florals and leaves out of that paper that I was just holding and I don't make you sit through me cutting out all of it but you do get to see a little bit of it um, I did want to say the story that I'm telling here is about when we go to our cabin. Basically, the kids are sitting on the couch at our cabin. We always make our last stop at the closest grocery store. It's actually a gro grocery, butcher shop, hardware store, all-in-one um, little tiny place. And it's about 25 to 30 minutes from our cabin. And so when we get to our cabin, the ice cream is getting nice and soft. And we don't have any refrigeration or freezer up there. So um, we are off-grid, no power. Um, so when we get there, the first thing is you got to eat the ice cream and you got to eat it all or it's going to go to waste or we got to throw it away. So every time we take friends up there when the kids were little, we'd say, yeah, you can have as much ice cream as you want. We, can eat, we need to eat it all. They just give you this look like, are you kidding me? 
I can have as much as I want. And then it's funny because the couple of the kids on the couch are like looking at their bowls like, I don't know if I can eat all this ice cream that's so much. <laughs> so we don't make them eat it all. Uh, they get to eat however much they want and then we toss the rest because that's all they're going to get the whole time we're there because, like I said, no refrigeration. So anyway, <laughs> that is the basic story of this, what I'm telling on this layout. Um, and while I keep working on placing those florals, let me just tell you about Christy's Beautiful Life. This is her seventh time that she is doing 30 Days of Sketches. She does have a Facebook group that you can go and join and see all of the layouts that people are creating and play along with her. And um, they have all seven of the series are going to be on that Facebook group. The one we are currently in, she will release them every day as we go but all of the past ones are there, so you have tons and tons of inspiration. I also have links to all of the people that are playing along on YouTube and Instagram down below in my inst in my description box, so you can go and check out all of the um, very talented people that are playing along and leave them a little bit of love. Okay, so I did cut out these two little yellow um, buds, and I'm going to go ahead and use those on the layout too, but I didn't want to try and cut out the stems because they were so tiny so I pulled in this green metallic pen and um, just drew the stems on the background and I liked how that looks it looks good I did cut out the little tiny leaves there you can see that and the green matches fairly well so that works and I did pop a couple of those flowers up onto foam to give dimension on the top uh, the uppermost floral piece and uh, I also popped the tip of the leaves up onto foam to give some dimension to the leaves. And I like how that's looking. And I don't know why I just decided to use flowers on this. Um, actually, the flowers kind of reminded me of a bowl of ice cream with the exception of the little dots in the center. But um, it, they're obviously not ice cream. They're, they're flowers. But um, it just made me think of it. So... Uh, I think because the colors were light and the greens were just like the right greens in those leaves, I just, I really liked the way it was looking, so I decided to go with it. Um, I didn't have a really, a lot of uh, food element type of ephemera. I have popsicles, but I don't have anything that's like ice cream per se that I can think of, except maybe an ice cream cone, but obviously this ice cream is not an ice cream cone, but, um, and the colors were all wrong. They were really bold and bright, so... I decided just to go with the florals and you know flowers match just about everything you see flowers in nature all the time and um, and it works so that's why I decided to go with it <laughs> and let's see here um, I am gonna end up using that little butterfly that's off to the upper right hand side you can see I put it there on one of the flowers down in the bottom left hand corner of the, the photos and I am going to use this little journaling spot and just tell that little story about the ice cream at the cabin. And I do end up using that little yellow camera puffy sticker. I am going to move it over there. And I like how that's looking. And then I'm going to add a couple more of those little buds coming down out of the photo uh, with the ice cream in it. So I'm going to add that. And I like how that looks. And um, so I'm going to have some leaves and then the little buds again. And I think it's looking pretty good. I am playing along all 30 days this month with Christie's Beautiful Life, so if you've missed any of my videos, you can go back and see those. There's at least one video every day. Some days there are more than one if I have different things going on that didn't fit the criteria to um, merge it with this particular series, so you can uh, check that out as well. And there's a lot more fun stuff coming up in the next uh, couple months as well, so keep coming back. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, that would be totally awesome. Um, I really do appreciate it, and I appreciate your time and your comments. I do get back to your comments. Uh, sometimes it takes me a couple of days, but I do get back to them, and I do read them, and I appreciate every single one of them. So feel free to leave comments or even questions down below if there's something you want to know about what I did or a product that I'm using. I will get back to you and um, kind of answer you to the best of my ability. So... Uh, the fun foam that I'm using there is just the cheap stuff from Walmart. It is adhesive on one side, but not the other. And then I'm just using my Liquid Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to adhere it down to the actual layout. And that this glue is really good. It just comes out in a really fine line, and it dries fairly quickly. It sets up really quick as well, 
and I have had no trouble with it. In fact, if you let it dry completely, if you if you get like a smudge of it on your paper, um, if you let it dry completely, a lot of times you can erase it off of the paper as well with an adhesive eraser, not with a regular eraser. Um, okay, and you just saw me just adding some more green lines there for the stems of those flowers. That pen is a Kaiser Craft gel pen. Their pens are super fine tipped, um, but they roll really nice and smooth. So if you're interested in those, they are from Kaiser Craft. And that's going to take us pretty close to the end of the layout here. I hope you have enjoyed watching today, and I'm definitely enjoying putting these out for you. So uh, keep, like I said, keep coming back, and I'll have more for you. I'm going to use some of these enamel dots in this lime green color and uh, just kind of sprinkle those in. And I don't want them to be super bold. I just want them to have a little added texture and a little added touch of um, pop of green there. So that is going to do it for my layout. The close-ups are coming up in just a few moments, so stick around for those, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.